here with famed Russian coach, one of the most famous coaches in, in figure skating history, Alexei Mission. Uh, Alexei, thank you for joining us. Um, just interested about your history with uh, working with junior skaters. We've seen you obviously on the senior Grand Prix circuit with seniors, but you work a lot with juniors. Uh, I like to tell you that usually I'm working, all my champions was created from the juniors till the seniors. And I remember when I compete with uh, Alexei Urmanov, Alexei Yegudin, uh, Plushenko, other skaters, when they was uh, uh, quite young. So I pass my way of coaching, not to take somebody who is talented, nearly ready, and polish it, push to the top, uh, my way to work from the, from the beginning till the top. Do you prefer working with younger skaters or older skaters? It depends on the talent because it is a pleasure to work with the talented. It no matter old or young, <laughs> according the the according the new time. For example, Plushenko looks very is very very old, but it's last year it was still very interesting to work with him. Have you ever worked with not so talented skaters? Uh, I like to uh, to tell you that. Uh, to work with untalented skaters for me brought working with such kind of skaters brought me more knowledge because if you create something we should this method works or does not work I, I should use no talented skater and this way I discover and I create many many exercises a method of teaching which helps me to work with the good ones now, Russia's always had an incredible history and in, in success uh, at the Olympic and world level, certainly in the past. But recently, there, has, there are so many good young junior skaters in Russia. Is there a particular reason for that? No, I'm not able, I'm not uh, such a good expert to discover, uh, to, to open the, the, the resource of this, of this uh, event. But I like to tell everything in the life is going like sinusoid up and down up and down i remember when i was skater and my skaters was on the top we was uh, dominated the russian skaters dominated in the world now nearest past we was on it on the bottom no one medal in your opinion no one medal in the world now we are again going up and i like to tell you that if you will visit if you will watch the, our junior competition in Russia, you will see that a lot of talented skaters and maybe tragedy of the Russian skater, we don't use all talented. For example, I'm watching, for example, Chinese or Japanese skaters, they took one who is talented, is safe with move, move, move till the end. We sometimes, Russian, uh, like Russian figure skater representative, we don't use all talented. We are not frugal too much. It, so, but I uh, like to tell you that the roots of the success of Russian skaters came, like I remember when I moved to the World Championship, I did movie, movie from Canadian, American, Japanese, so we collect everything what was best at that time. So these Russians not develop, uh, discover everything we collect, the, the rich traditions of the American skaters and other. Who is your most favorite? non-Russian skater? Browning. Sorry. And why? Why? Because he's... Uh, first, he was uh, good prepared and uh, extremely talented and uh, outstanding person because when we are talking about outstanding skaters, no, we should not talk about good Axel, uh, uh, good Salkov. No. He's... He's uh, radiate the sympathy. Alexei Mission from Russia, one of the great coaches in figure skating history.